Surgery day, I'm about to go in there. Tell me you love me, and you're gonna give me red lobster. Just mm -hmm. play. I do love you, you'll be okay. I'm gonna go in there now, you guys. I'm scared. I'm scared, I don't wanna go in there now. I feel like throwing out, that's how sick I feel. The little patch of fur. <laughs> Instantly that we put it on, I felt like it's just in my head and I'm just making myself feel sick. And hell no, I was sick. Is it still on there? Yeah. Okay, give me a kiss. Oh, dude. No, put it on. Oh, you did have it on. Oh, my Careful. God. It'll be fine. Okay. Okay, I'm going to get done, guys. I'll record when I get in there. Two hours since I got out. Yeah, we got here at 2 30. And it's 4 30. It's uh, 25. Michael didn't vlog. This is what I look like so currently. 30 minutes are 50 up. But this is <clears throat> horrible. The taste of the medicine in your throat is disgusting. But I think the hardest part is rolling out of the bed and rolling back in. Can't move your legs, but right now, I'm just laying, I'm gonna go back to lay on the bed, but I have to get up every few, I don't know, how many times do I have to get up in an hour? Twice? How many times do I have to get up to walk? Every hour. Once. So once an hour I have to walk. But my face don't look too swollen. Little. I come to right here, maybe because I've been laying on this side, but you can see it a little bit swollen. Mm. This is a lot. I 
got my dreams in my little pockets and my socks. But look at this. How pretty. So I'm probably gonna lay down now and be there for a while and try to just sleep as much as I can and wear this paint off because I feel nauseous for one. I feel, I can taste the medicine from them putting me to sleep. I just, the nauseous is what gets me the most because I hate to be nauseous even like when you're pregnant. I hate that so much. I'd rather throw up and get it over with. And I'm short out of breath, that's how I feel. But other than that, I'm alive. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in a little bit or in an hour or two. Update two. It's gonna be 7.30 and I'm just walking again. <clears throat> my throat is so messed up from the tube in my mouth. Um, so, so far from one to 10, I give it a nine with the pain or an eight, but I'm gonna take my meds and lay down again and fall asleep. I don't sleep on my stomach anymore. I used to when I was younger and now I can't. And that's the only way I could actually sleep is on my stomach. I don't know if my face looks swollen or not. No clue. My legs aren't swollen. Um, the rest of my body is. But, like literally falling asleep. I went outside and walked around a little bit too. Watching some Jenny Rivera. But hopefully tomorrow I feel better. It's going to be more painful tomorrow because I'm supposed to be getting my first massage tomorrow and um, they're going to take me out of my the stuff I'm wearing now and put me in something like a faja now. Anyways, I'll check in in a while again and see how I feel. Okay, this is another update. It's 2.30 in the morning. 2.30 in the morning and I can't sleep. My face is getting super sore right now. Look underneath my eyes. Horrible. Not bad, but right there. Um, the pain is out of control. Earlier I said it was like a 7, 8. Now it's definitely a 10. I could like, a lot of people don't like to walk because they say it's super painful, but that's the only thing that makes me feel comfortable. Like right now, I'm standing up in the bathroom and put a towel on the sink and I'm leaning on it with my arms. So I could like kind of relax like this. Cause for one, I don't sleep on my stomach, so it sucks. And for two, um, rolling out of the bed, I'm sorry about that. Rolling out of the bed is so hard. As for eating, um, I just ate a bowl of cereal just to get like something in my system. But I don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow because tomorrow at 11.30, I have to go see my doctor and they were saying you get massages Fridays and Monday. Tomorrow's Friday. So I really hope that the massage ain't gonna kill me because if this hurts getting out of bed, so officially I did one full day and I'm tired, I'm so tired and I can't sleep. Um, so yeah, I haven't really been able to see what my body looks like. as you can see the kind that pulls out um yes yeah, so i haven't seen anything
besides that i've used my little cone thing to pee and man it is so much easier doing that um i can't take a shower today because i have to see my doctor for them to remove um this this that i'm wearing right now put a new one, a tighter one, but I'm scared that it's gonna hurt when they put it on. And not even that, I'm more nervous about the massage, so this freaking sucks. Never again. I don't know how some females could go doing it two or three times because I didn't like the results. I just wanted a flat stomach and a nice little butt. I don't want nothing all crazy traumatic, so I'm hoping that's what I got. More of a natural look. He said the first um, month or two, um, it looks like your butt is shrinking a lot. Um, but then he said that once you get to three, four, five months, that's when your butt starts getting softer. And then it gets really like fluffy and that's your actual butt, what it's gonna look like, but right now, my butt is as hard as a freaking ball. Like, literally, it's hard. Um, so, yeah. Mm, sleeping sucks. And oh, I can't, you guys, this pain is crazy. But I just want to update you guys. I'm trying to update you guys every time I get up. My eyes hurt from being swollen. And I'm tired. The worst part is not being able to take a shower yet. Because I feel like if I take a shower and I stand in there for a very long time, it's going to be like really relaxing. But I'm also scared because my little holes, he made three holes, four holes. He made two right here, like on your V your little V going down like this on your body, a hole in my belly button, and two holes right here. So that's two, five holes. I'm scared it's gonna hurt when I get in the shower. But yeah, we stained the bed. <laughs> After I told Michael to buy a shower curtain, so I'll probably be doing an update after my surgery, just to tell you guys what doctor I went to, where's his location, how much I paid, um, what you guys should buy, and what I didn't buy, and I wish I bought it. Um, Basically, that's it. So I'll see you guys in a while. Okay, so I just got out of the shower and man, I feel so much better. Um, it's already seven at night. My pigeon's been sleeping a lot. I think my swell, like how I was swollen, is starting to go away. My voice is messed up because um, they put that tube in your mouth, so that's normal when I have a headache, which is normal, he said. But. I went through my massage today. Like, I don't even understand how that's even possible. I got my surgery the day before, well, yesterday, surgery yesterday. And then I went today for them to massage my body, which was so swollen. Like literally every time they would like squeeze down my stomach and my back, it felt like my skin was on fire. Horrible experience ever. And I haven't been able to sleep because I'm not the type to sleep on her stomach. So, like I'll fall asleep for like an hour, two hours, and then I get up and I have to walk. Um, but getting out of the bed, oh my God, it freaking sucks. And the pills that they gave me for pain, they don't even work. I think I just have a high tolerance from before when I used to do pills. Um, yeah, but I didn't get really strong ones, so this sucks because like, and then I have to go back on Monday for another massage. And then again on Tuesday, 
and then Wednesday we'll go but I just ordered some Uber Eats because I was so hungry I haven't been able to eat a full meal since the day before yesterday um, but yeah that's my update for the day and today is Friday I know my eye looks I'm so tired you guys like tired because I can't sleep but I'll see you guys in a while okay so it is 6 30 in the morning on Saturday Saturday and I am in a lot of pain my body's still so sore and I haven't had one single day of good sleep at all even since when we first got here because I had anxiety before I went and for my surgery, but I'm hoping to get better soon. Um, I don't even know what to say. This is crazy. I feel like I got run over by a car. And even if you try, I don't know how girls could sit on their butts as soon as they get their surgery because I can't even do that. I tried to, well, I was told not to either way, but I tried to like sit on my side with the pillow like sleep on it on the side and hell no like this part of my body I don't know if you guys can see but like right here where my hip is and so I'm laying on the side on it oh my god it hurts so bad and the painkillers they gave me they gave me oxys they don't even work I don't know why they would give me five milligrams because I have a very high tolerance but they don't even work. Like dead serious, they don't even work. And they make me sick. I hate taking pills. They make me sick. So that's where we're at. I did take a shower today. Michael was freaking out. Um, because he said that my butt looks like Nicki Minaj. Bitch. But he doesn't understand it's swollen really bad. Because even like my stomach has a lot of like it's kind of big I don't know if I could show you guys but it has like a little pouch still and that's for me being swollen as for my face it's not really swollen anymore I guess I'm just hella tired but on the other hand this right here god it is a lifesaver because to have to take off your whole um faja to pee and then to even try to sit hell no so with that thing it is easy so i really suggest you get this i got mine at amazon.com so yeah this is basically my day three after my surgery i wanted to update this because i hadn't gone um i haven't updated this vlog at all yesterday because i was just tired and out of it like right now i am so tired but i can't lay in bed because it hurts so i'm trying to stick it out and stay awake and it sucks because i can't sleep on my stomach and then to get up like for some reason this arm hurts so bad so when i like try to you know push on it to pull myself forward hell no it literally hurts so bad. So that's why I kind of don't want to be in bed. I kind of wish I had a recliner. Oh, it sucks. But that's my update. And I'll probably update you guys later. Hopefully I'll feel so much better. I'm starting to get an appetite. But like still not really feeling it. Um, we ordered hot wings yesterday. Mm -mm. I couldn't eat it. And Michael got me some chicken um noodle soup that was fine um i can't even drink a coke you guys i've been drinking nothing but powerade and water because if i try to drink a coke it just makes me sick i don't know why um plus my throat is all messed up like i told you guys earlier he said that that would be normal for my throat and my inside of my mouth to hurt because when they put you to sleep they put that tube in your mouth so yeah i know i look like shit guys when i saw my body um at the doctor's it looks so freaking good 
so good. So I'm just curious to see how it's gonna look in a few days. Um, let me show you guys this. This is the drain stuff that's been coming out of my body. Literally, I have buckets, a bunch of containers like this. And the reason why we're putting them in here because I don't want to empty them in the toilet because I don't know if that's a good idea or not. So all the empty water bottles and juices, we just put them on, um, empty it in here. And this is, I have two drains. This one right here is for the front. of my drains. This is the front of it. So I'm wearing the roll because it's just easier for me to put them in my pocket. And then this one is for the back, for my back. This one doesn't drain too much. All the stuff that we drained is mostly this side because this barely started um But you guys, when I went to get my massage, man, you could literally, if she would go like this on my back and my stomach and you could feel like all the draining thing sliding down and then it would pour out through the little, through these hoses. And whenever I had like a air bubble in there, oh my God, that hurt so bad. It's like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like when you're putting a piece of tape on something and there's air bubbles in there and then you kind of have to press to remove that bubble out to the end and that's what she had to do with me but I mean I don't know how they could have you do a test I mean do a body massage literally the day after your surgery when your body is completely swollen and you're in a lot of pain but my nurse was like I'm so proud of you Normally when the girls come in here, they cry because they hurt so bad and I have to stop. And honestly, I didn't. I felt like crying, but I didn't cry. Um, I just wanted her to do as much as she could. So that way when I go home, I might not need my drinks. But from what I've heard from them, I might have to because we're leaving on Wednesday morning. And I think I'm going to have to take my drinks with me and then Michael would have to remove them out of me. It looks horrible, but my body is motherfucking snatched. Like, I don't know if you guys could even see right now. This is my boutique. And then whenever they were uh, cleaning the like, area where the drains are coming out of, I was standing in front of the mirror at the doctor's completely naked and dude, my body looks like a motherfucking Coke bottle. It is so like perfectly shaped. And as my butt, like I said, it is extremely swollen right now at my stomach. And then when I go on Monday, they're gonna give me another faja. So I'm just using this one.
people's love.